Hi, welcome to this week's video. I hope you've been enjoying my videos thus far. Today we're going to be talking about gender discrimination in colleges and universities and in male-dominated workplaces. So I hope you enjoy the interview that follows and afterwards we'll talk about the research. Hi, so what's your name? I'm Keisha Ferris. And where do you work? At Home Depot as a cashier. And where do you go to school? University of Texas at Tyler. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about any of the gender discrimination you've seen at your job, whether it's your gender or the combination of your gender and race? Um, not so much my gender, um, but more my race because it seemed like more of the Hispanics cluster together, more of the Caucasians cluster together, and then you have, I, I can go to either group because I'm just social like that. But, um, but yeah, it's very, very uh, race-based. Like, uh, one head cashier, she makes sure that all her Hispanic people either have extra shifts or they get extra hours or they make sure that they constantly working, whereas I may have some off days that we, but I'm not a first choice to be called in to take over someone's shift that they missed you know she'll call the hispanic people before she'll call me so that's pretty much what i do with have you ever had any comments from customers friends anybody about the fact that you're a female working at home depot and are there parts of the job that they don't let the females do um the females job that we don't do a lot of them don't like us loading men uh don't want us to load they'll they'll rather us not load at all um, are y'all allowed to use the equipment? No. Actually, it, it's very few women that my job that works the forklifts and the, the reach trucks and, and the reach lifts. Maybe like two of them. Mm -hmm. And it's just recently they've done it. And recently, since we are losing people, they let them do it before. They had it, but never let them do it. Mm -hmm. um, I've had customers uh, surprised that I don't have any kids and I'm not married. Really? That's the first thing they say. Oh, you married? So it's odd to no. be an independent woman who exactly. has a job. Yeah. Have they ever commented that it's weird that you may work at a, primarily as far as our society sees, a dominated male workplace? Yes, because I don't know where everything is at the store. I don't know what tools to get. I don't know what power tools the best power. And it's like, so why do you work here? Yeah. I've gotten that before too. Do you feel like that particular organization should be educating their female workers to know what this is versus what this is so they can be more efficient in their work? Yes, if we have the time, yes. I would like to learn about different tools. I think that's interesting. Yeah, my dad's a maintenance man, so I would like to know what tools I think he should buy to perfect his craft, but we just don't have time to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, so have you seen any gender discrimination or race discrimination here on campus? Um, or heard of any on other campuses of your friends elsewhere? I have seen it in one professor class. He would favor more of the male answering the questions in class than the females. If a female answered the question, he's shocked that she knew the answer. But he favored more of the male's perspective with answer, answering questions in class. Do you feel like there's discrepancies in the amount of women in college as far as bachelor's, master's, and doctorate? And do you see it going down? Or do you think there's an increase? Um, I do see discrepancies. Um, it, for bachelor's, I see a lot more women in my field, which is psychology, than I do see males. Um, but as we go further into it, it, it drops. Because I've been to my brother's graduation and um, the doctor, the, the masters, not many women, more men. And then for for the doctoral, it was like one woman and then the rest were all men. Um, and it's even more decreased for, you know, black African-American women. Um, because for me personally, it's financially a reason for me. It's hard to, you know, I'm not rich. So I have to pay mostly out of pocket or depend on financial aid for most of it. So it will be harder for me. I would love to continue, but I may not ha I may not get the choice to continue because of my financial stability. Do you think there's a way that we could encourage women 
to seek higher degrees and change any kind of policies and specifically gearing towards African American women and how we can make those numbers jump over the next several years? I think leading by example, I feel like if, for me personally, if I see more African American people, you know, or women in general striving for, you know, higher education, higher job opportunities, it will make me want to get off my booty and do what I got to do to be like, want to be just like them, you know, want to be successful, educated black woman. So you think the answer is that we need better female role models, not just of white descent, but of every, every. to encourage. Yes, I agree. All right, so to end this, will you tell me some of your favorite or most heard stereotypes about women or women of color? Um, I'm shocked she went to college. Um, I've gotten, I can't believe that you're not married. Oh, I can't believe you don't have any kids. Um, I'm, uh, what was one I got from work that, oh, I got in high school that I'm too ambitious oh, for what ambitious, I want to do yeah. with my life. I was like, wow, i have never, and it was a fellow African-American woman that said that to me. Wow, that I was so, too ambitious. Yeah, I, th I think a lot of people forget the way that they talk to women in general is what discourages us from continuing on because we felt like because we were told we couldn't we can't exactly and it's just like the self-fulfilling prophecy you know you just kind of deal yeah and i'm like that gave me motivation some people would tear them down but that gave me motivation saying that too ambitious made me want to do it even more mm -hmm. just to prove you wrong well hopefully more women decide to take that mentality i hope so all right, well, thank you, and say goodbye to everybody. Thank you. You have a good night. Hey, so thanks for staying tuned and watching that video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the links below. And also listed below are all the APA peer-review-cited findings that I found. Uh, so the first one I want to talk about today is the Penalties for Success article. In this study, a total of 242 participants were investigated over three experimental studies uh, looking at the reactions to women's success in male gender type jobs. The results showed that women who are acknowledged as successful are less liked by others and are more personally judged than their equally same male counterparts. These harsh reactions were only occurring towards women in male-dominated careers. So we would not find the exact same findings in a primarily female-dominated career, like maybe nursing. Um, in the Women and Women of Color in Leadership article, they talk about a study by Egley and Carly in 2007, who asserted that to successfully negotiate the labyrinth that women have to go through, women are required to demonstrate both proactive and communal skills, as well as create social capital. Um, early in the research on leadership, they ignored the role of the demographic differences, such as gender and race, and in part because it was largely conducted by white male researchers were mostly uninterested in the differences. And I think we forget about that a lot. In a lot of the primary studies in the beginning, all the research was done by white male. So a lot of it you're finding is biased and unfairly tested. So early research, uh, like I said, ignored all of that and we are progressing to a more successful society and hopefully the research shows us in 20 or 30 years that women are being less judged for working quote unquote male type jobs and we can all take the world by storm so leave your comments like i said in the bottom and i'll get back to you and i'll see you next week